Our guest today is Jen Ward, director of the Milford Youth Center. Jen, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me, Kevin. You've got a great summer program going, I understand. We do. We're in week four. I can't believe we're almost in August, but we've had a great turnout. We've actually had to order three more buses because we've had such a great reaction to our summer camp and our different programs, so it's been a lot of fun. Wow. Mm -hmm. But that's not why you're here today. No, we're here to You guys about. have a unique fundraiser coming up in September? Yes, September 15th right here on Milford TV. Yep, so thanks to Milford TV who actually reached out to us last year. We're hosting our second annual telethon and it's to help raise money for a room that wasn't part of the recent renovation of the Milford Youth Center. Okay, and what are some of the things that are gonna happen at this telethon? So it's exciting, it's gonna be on Saturday, September 15th and we're gonna have a lot of different acts come out to perform and then we're actually gonna have an event at the Youth Center. So I have a list here, I just wanna kind of go down some sure. of the things that we have going on. So again, we're so lucky to have Ray Ozier be our hosts this year. Fantastic. Yep, and we're going to actually join one of our youth council members um, and our youth leadership members, Evie Lima. So she's going to co-host along with Ray Ozier this year, which will be a fun addition. Okay. We're going to have a dunk tank where I think um, a few of us will have to go in along with some officials. So if you know any officials out there that would be willing oh, to I get dunked. Oh, I think you would invite the three select men. We, we, we tried last year, so hopefully we'll get a better reaction this year. We, um, we would love to have them. And, and you know the state rep and state senator who want to kill me when they hear this, <laughs> they're up for re-election, so you know, you can get them, and, yeah. and they have opponents who are up for election, so you yeah. can get them. We hope so, because we uh, I know we have the superintendent um, pretty much squared in to participate, and I know Rob and I will be participating as well. So we invite you all, and I'm sure we'll be, you'll be getting letters soon to invite you. Wait a minute. I can get a chance to dunk Rob O'Keefe, the head of Milford TV. You will be able to. Oh, you're going to get some money from me that Okay, day. <laughs> that's exciting. We got one already. <laughs> um, so that's part of the beginning of the show here at Milford TV. Um, we're going to have Dan West come back. Thankfully, he was here last year, and he did a really cool bike show. Um, his wrestling group will come back as al also, and they're going to do an arm wrestling contest. Okay. We have Penguin Acop Apocalypse coming, excuse me. Um, and then we transition back over to the Youth Center, where we're going to have this... Okay basketball game between the fire department and the police department so we've already have them confirmed they're going to get some guys to to participate and it's going to be filmed live from from that location wow yeah so that's really exciting to get the whole community involved um and even more groups that than we had last year and so they're going to have a, a game probably 15 minute halves and then we have a halftime show with earl wilson he's going to shoot his famous half court shot behind the back yep. and that's going to be actually sponsored by simply orthodontist in town so okay. they're going to donate a hundred dollars for every that short shot he gets in wow. up to a thousand dollars so he's going to have 10 opportunities you know, that's my dentist now i know why they charge so much yeah there you go <laughs> just kidding <laughs> and then we have <laughs> McEwen dance um center also performing a halftime show during yep. that performance so we're really excited about that uh, we have tank tops donated by imprint graphics located in framingham for okay. those the two teams and then bolio sporting goods is going to have a trophy that they're going to donate to the event as well nice. for the the winning department i guess um, we have Mick Lawless. Uh, this, we're going to go back to Milford TV now. We have a fire breather, hopefully. That's going to be an exciting part of the, the event back when we get back to Milford TV. We're going to have some of our youth kids perform with our improv group that we have. Okay. And we're going to have a fun Milfordy, a little spin on Jeopardy. We're actually... I, I've been drafted for that. <laughs> you have. I so. don't know what it's about, but I've already been drafted. <laughs> so we're really excited. We wanted to do kind of a, a Jeopardy game based on most of Milford history and events and things like that. So we have Kevin here participating. We have a board member, a board member Ron Taylor, and then one of our youth center after school members who has an awesome personality. So we're really excited about yeah. that. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to uh, study my Milford history between now and September. You are. There's gonna be some fun questions, some historical questions, but it should be a good time, and um, we're excited for that dynamic between everybody. Um, and then we're gonna wrap up with some exciting ra raffle prizes. Teachers Drive Academy donated a uh, $330 uh, driving lesson certificate. 
Um, wow. Yep. So, and then we have some bikes that were donated from Consigli, and the youth are going to create some of their own art pieces that they're going to auction off at the, the night of the event. So, we're looking for more donations and more sponsorship. But that's a it's a pretty packed show, and I think we have about three or four spots left that we need to fill. So, and, and what's your goal for how much money you're trying to raise? So last year we raised about seven thousand for the first telethon, which we were very happy about. The ultimate goal is about fifty thousand. So that's the quote for the entire music studio space. Um, so we would like to always we always want to improve upon last year. So right. I would say our goal is is ten thousand this year. Um, but of course we always are willing to get more than that. But <laughs> of course that's I think we can really see progress. So people can really see where their money is going towards and some progress in the space. Oh, it's a great facility. It and, is. Uh, uh, both before the recent renovation and now especially after. Yeah. No, um, I, the old armory had a special place in my heart, but I am very happy and, and pleased with how the renovation went. It still looks like the old armory from the outside. Yep. That's what Other they wanted to Other than the front door. Mm -hmm. And quite honestly, you preserved a lot of what was in that and made it special, I think. Yeah. I think that was part of the Armory Renovation Committee's goal was to make sure that the historical aspects of the building were maintained, but then the interior was, ma we made sure that we had it, you know, up to code and, and suitable for a youth center. That, that's, that sounds great. Mm -hmm. In, in general, are the, are the programs at the center going great? Just not just the summer camp, but everything else. They are. We um, this was I was explaining to our board um, at our last board meeting. It was nice to be able to really compare numbers for the last two years that we've officially been in the, in the renovated new, space. Yeah. Yep, for two years now. So we've seen our numbers and programs and volunteers and donation amounts go up in, a lot since the the first initial year in there. So we had about. A little over 500 kids the first after school year, which was 10 months of the, the, the year. And now we have over 627 for year two. Wow. Our registered after school members. And even the volunteer amount doubled. So we had over 330 volunteers through our annual programs and, and events. And summer camp is booming. And booming, yeah. So we're really excited about all the things that are going on at the Youth Center and everybody that's contributing to make it a success. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> you know, it was always wait till we redo it and we'll see how it takes off and it's really taking off. Yeah. And it's such a great place for kids to go um, and in my mind um, have a safe place to hang out without, uh, you know, my mother uh, uh, came out of the Depression era and she used to always say, you know, idle hands are the devil's workshop. Mm -hmm. it's and, very true. Uh, you know, which basically means if kids don't have a, a good positive place to go, they'll do something they shouldn't do. Exactly. I mean, we just received a grant from the DA for drug forfeiture funds, and that's what they're supposed to be doing, reallocating yeah. to, to programs that are trying to get kids, especially during those really um, critical hours of those after school, two to six, and that's what we're trying to provide, you know, a space where they're, they're out of trouble and they're in a positive environment. So. I, I think it's fantastic. Um, you know, I've been a big supporter uh, back when you were the assistant director and, and now that you are, I mean, I just see it as a, a great place for kids to go, um, you know, right off Main Street, middle school that's out, what's what a block away. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, you know, nice, uh, easy place to go. Um, are kids taking the bus there? the uh, MWRTA bus, or are they too young to ride it alone? Yeah, they're too, I believe the age is they have to be accompanied by somebody if they're under 13, I believe. Um, yeah. So we're trying to encourage the high schoolers to take it. We're actually, we've been trying to plan where our staff goes on the route so we can really help make sure that they understand it. Um, we actually just reached out to Scott Chris Foley to get one of the large maps so that we can really be pointing to it in our facility. So I don't think we've seen enough of our population being able to utilize it, but yeah. it's there and I think we're really looking forward to trying to encourage, especially the high schoolers, to use okay. it. Mm -hmm. A different note, um, at a recent selectmen's meeting, um, Rick Vellante, the town administrator, announced you got a grant for some food service equipment? Yes, we did from the Greater Worcester um, food, food, bank. Organ food Bank. Yes, uh, we're very excited about that. We received a $3,000 grant, and it's just to add on to the already existing food programs that, and nutrition programs that we run. 
So we are able to provide a free snack and a free dinner every day after school through. So what is it, a hot table or a salad bar? It's a or? salad bar, and then we have a hut bar as well. So okay. the hut bar will be more used for events and like our Christmas dinner that we do for right. with our Christmas gifts, things like that, and our Thanksgiving dinner, which we always have over 100 kids participate in. Um, but the salad bar we're hoping to do every Friday, and it's so to add another option to that weekly menu that we provide the kids for dinner. Give them a good, food, give them a good meal. Yes, exactly. We always try to stay healthy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. It is not easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy when you have the uh, convenience stores and the twenty-ounce soda bottles and the giant-sized candy bars a block away. And it's so true. We that's why we try to keep everything internal where they don't really have to leave. They still do. That's that's their yeah. option in there. In their choice but we have a healthy vending machine so it's a healthy alternative it's not necessarily always the best thing but it's a better alternative than the traditional vending machines and then all of the lunches and snacks are they have to be whole grain they always provide a fruit or a vegetable and and things like that so we're trying to provide it at least as a something that they can choose but then again you know we have a sugar module board on our in our kitchen so they really can you know once they do decide to go across the street they can see and they do they 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 ask us what well, I still remember in going in there four or five years years ago mm -hmm. and you had the little cups of fat that mm -hmm. how many fat was it french fries mm -hmm. from the fast food places and how much sugar and I and you look at that and you go I'm putting that in me yeah yeah <laughs> and, you have to come by because we have it in our kitchen and it's displayed really nicely our program coordinator created it and it was it, always a dream it, of her to see it, it, it's to see enough that. to scare you out of ever eating it fast is. food again it is that and soda exactly <laughs> the soda especially but yep. <laughs> um, um, you know to me that's a sugar delivery system mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I know you're tight for time today, and I don't want to drag it out. Let's talk about the telethon again. Okay. It's September? September 15th. It's a Saturday. Saturday. What time? From 3 to 9. 3 to 9. And the basketball game will be from between 5 and 6 at the Youth Center, and then all the other events will be held here at Milford TV. Um, we again, we're looking for sponsorships and donations. You can actually donate now. You can go directly to our website, milfordyouthcenter.net, and there's a donation tab where you would write telethon in the notes, or we actually just set up a PayPal account as well. I was going to ask, can I make an electronic payment yes, since so many yep. people don't use cash anymore? Yes, you can. You can go to PayPal and it's myc at townofmilford.com. That's what you would put into the the search in PayPal, and you can directly do that, and that's going to go directly to our telethon. Um, but there also is a Unipay link that you can do a donation via our Facebook, uh, Facebook and our website as well. Well, that sounds like you get it covered. We do. We try. We just met with the treasurer today to try to make sure we had the PayPal all set, <laughs> and and then for the day of the show, everything will be broadcasted live, where all the donations will have a th live thermometer. So. You know, you'll be publicly thanked, and then we will also. We always like to thank everyone who contributes and takes part of the event and donates. I, th I think that's fantastic. Um, and again, this is to build a music studio. Yep. So we have two spaces in the basement that weren't rooms that weren't a part of the, the renovation. Right. Most of the basement wasn't involved, but we've slowly tackled it with donations from Benjamin Moore. It looks it looks like it's part of the actual project. So we have a $54,000 grant to do a dance studio that's adjacent to this music studio room. So right. it's two spaces that hopefully in the next couple of years will be completely uh, finished without a, a $54,000? $54,000 grant. Wow. Yeah, from Chana 6. So ah, that explains yes. it. Yes. <laughs> so we're excited because none of this most of none of the basement outside of some of the renovation right. part of the renovation scope was all from either fundraisers or grants or okay. donations things like that so it's very and, exciting and then the music studio is going to let people do what is a place to play or actually to produce and to play music and then to edit and things like that we always um, milford tv is uh, is generously going to donate one of their reused um, iMac computer so that the kids always come here and learn how to use right. the system here so they're actually going to probably be able to edit right from the center so we're really excited about everything that's so going to be happening. So kids are going to be able to like lay down their own beats and, and edit them and produce them and that's the goal. Use them. That's fantastic. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think that's a great idea because I think the kids have so much talent today. They do. And it's the way of the world. I have a nephew who uh, makes a living producing mm -hmm. music and you look at the equipment he has at home, it's all computerized equipment. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, it's the way of the world today. And, and you can make your own stuff and, and make a living at it. Yeah. And they get a, a good start. Yeah. The, and center. the kids know how to use it already, and then they know, and they'll just be able to really advance their skills and just provide different programming. That's what we're always trying to do. And it, not just sports, you know, we try to do science, dance, you know, now music. So it's exciting. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I know you've, uh, you've got to run, 
So uh, thank you for stopping by. Of course. Thank you for and, having me. And um, good luck on the telethon. And I, I look forward to paying, what are we calling it, Milfordy? Milfordy, yes. That's and you know, name. Alex Trebek announced today he's stepping down from Jeopardy to retire. Oh, so maybe you can So maybe, no, there. maybe we'll get him from Milfordy. <laughs> that would be exciting. Uh, I think that would be great. <laughs> I know. Uh, just kidding. But um, <laughs> you got to ask somebody from the Historical Commission to get on there. We actually, we reached out to them for some of the questions and some of the other things that we're doing at the center. So we, we they're, they were our next people in line if, if the three people we first selected just to, because we know you're a part of the event already and our board member knows a little <laughs> bit about everything. And we thought the youth member would provide some comedy into the, to the Well, event, you know, so. as I told somebody once, my knowledge is a mile wide and an inch deep. <laughs> Uh, I know I know a little about many things, mm -hmm. but you know, toning down in on just Milford history, I could do the last forty years maybe, but but uh, beyond that, it's it's uh, it's it's going back. But anyway, thanks for stopping by, and we'll probably check in with you uh, again soon to see how everything's going. Perfect. And we invite people to uh, watch the telephone. Yeah, please do, and thank you as always for having me on the show. Anytime. Thanks. Thank you.